Hi there, I'm Peter and this is Peter Smiljana Chivong. Today I'm going to talk about fire element and small intestine meridian. Recently we have made some mistakes in our pose and we have realized that we need a vacation. But only when the journey through five elements is finished. The course of the small intestine meridian Small intestine meridian is a young meridian of upper limbs. It begins in the proximity of the outer nail edge of the little finger. It runs up the ulnar or outer side of the arm over the elbow up to the elbow where it turns around on the back side running over scapula and continuing to the spine where it unites with uh, Dumai extraordinary meridian in the Dumai 14 point between second and third thoracic vertebra. From there it runs towards the supraclavicular clavicular hollow where it unites with stomach meridian in stomach 12 point. From there the inner branch descends towards the heart and stomach and further towards the small intestine organ where it ends. One collateral branch runs from supraclavicular hollow over the neck towards the face to outer edge of the eyes. From there it turns towards backside and down to the ear where the superficial course of the meridian ends in the small intestine 19 point. One other collateral branch runs from small intestine 18 towards eye orbit and ends in the inner corner of the eye uniting with bladder meridian in the point bladder 1 indications and symptoms main function of this meridian is digestion or assimilation of nutrients but at the same time the assimilation of ideas it regulates the digestion of spirit. General indications are all digestive problems. Ulcer in stomach or duodenum, colonteritis or inflammation of the gut, bloating, local pain and edema in neck area, pain in facial area, pain in shoulder area with functional weakness, pain and dysfunctions along the meridian root. Redness of face, pharyngitis, tendency to psychosomatic illnesses, apathy, asthenia, agitation. There are four points that I would like to mention which are in my opinion very useful. Small intestine 4 or, or Wangu a uh, source point of small intestine meridian. It is located in the outer edge of the palm in one valley between base of the fifth metacarpal bone and pyramidal bone. Indications are rigid and painful fingers, palmar arthritis, headache, pain in the occipital area, tinnitus, general dysfunctions of physical and psychological tones and others. I found this point to be useful when the energy of a person was a bit shut down and would need a bit of help to start the engine running. I usually combined it with the next two points. Small intestine 8. Small intestine 8 uh, or Kiao Hai 
which is the point of small intestine meridian. It is most easily located while the elbow is bent. You can see it on the picture right now. Indications are pains in the little finger, pain in the elbow, pain in the area of scapula and back, edemas of neck, hearing problems, and so on. Next point is small intestine 3, or ho Shi, which is a shoe point and has many useful applications. It is an opening point for Dumai, extraordinary meridian, or governing vessel. And if the only thing that you know is that a person you treat have deficiency of young energy, you won't do anything wrong if you use this point in order to, ton to open and tonify young of the whole energy matrix. I discussed about this point in the video about extraordinary meridians. For more information you can go about and, and check the video Small Intestine 3, Ho Shi and Do My Extraordinary Vessel. It is also on our YouTube channel. Small intestine relations, pairing of small intestine and heart is unusual for a Western perception. Even more than that of a large intestine and lungs. Even more would be the connection of the small intestine and blood. However, if you look at the embryonic development, small intestine as well as heart were developed from the same layer of tissue. Traditionally, small intestine is associated with mental clarity. Beside the spleen, also small intestine separates fluids and essences of food and pure fluids from impure ones. This function of small intestine is under supervision of spleen Small intestine problems are associated with abdominal pain which are accompanied with changes in digestion from constipation to diarrhea and flatulence. Sometimes urinary problems might appear such as burning urination followed by sleeplessness. Small intestine is responsible for, for clarity. How come? Since small intestine receives, assimilates and filters all the information from all that we intake, whether it is consciously or not. In accordance with this organ, meridian or function, you then decide in a realm of another organ for example, gallbladder, what to do. So yes, the clarity is built up on a healthy small intestine. If it fails in this function, our heart or emperor will integrate wrong information into our psychological makeup. This information might develop some destructive habits, confusion or some other negative patterns or beliefs. Common things about the small intestine. Because of its root and the nature of its energy, we can treat usual problems of shoulder area, neck pain, tinnitus and ear infections. This is a today's ending of my contribution to the society of lovely, cheerful explorers of energetic and vibrational reality. May the chi be with you. Bye.